not done anything with this for quite a while. Just not felt in the mood really. The last month or so it's been horrendous up here. Wind, storm after storm, mud, rain. Sometimes you can't get the door open to get out of the car, right? never mind into it. But I think I must be an eternally optimistic individual because today is such a glorious day. It's warm and sunny. I've forgotten about all that rubbish of weather that's gone. So perhaps I am an optimist. Anyway, what should we talk about? Uh, my favourite little snack is a satsuma with a cup of tea, of course. And um, today's been a good day, really. Got me washing all done. I've got a new friend called Susan. She's a bit idle. But I'll introduce you to in a bit. You'll be impressed with her. what she can do. And I, I um, feel she'll have a lot to add to my future world. Well, folks, I was going to let you introduce you to uh, Lazy Susan. I never heard the expression, but my daughter tells me that's what I've got, a Lazy Susan. Now, I did know a girl called Susan. I don't think she was that lazy, but... Apparently that's what it's about. And there she is. Proudly sitting above my fire. And uh, what a boon it has been. Actually dry clothes. I put them up there. A day later they're bone dry and they stay dry. And um, apart from smelling of smoke and a touch of comfort, the place uh, smells of uh, laundry, which is better than it usually smells, I can tell you. My mum had one many years ago, and I saw it ever as the well, I'll get one of those, and it's been a great idea. So that's Lazy Susan, my new accomplice. So out the polytunnel for the ready for the sheep to lamb. Fed the other wounds, done all my washing, took the dog for a walk, uh, sat down, had my tea, and uh, now I'm going to have a chat to you, folks. I think a few you know where I am these days because I quite often see cars that come along the road and I get a gesture. Not always the one I wanted, I guess, but it's nice to be, should we say, acknowledged anyway. I did get chucked off Facebook for a day or two. Quite astonished me, really. Well, it was a bit controversial, apparently, over the war, but enough said. I'm not going to go back into that. There's plenty of people better than me can tell you about that one. All I would say, though, I don't think you can believe the media. As they get older, it's worse they are. And uh, what I do love these days is my kids and grandchildren and nephews and nieces, they're questioning and asking questions and disbelieving and I think that's the greatest plus we can hope for really you know we can't take over the world we're not big enough to do a penny will you come here come here come here penny she's trapping in my daffodils come here here good girl come on and uh, they're just coming into flower it's a week earlier than last year one or two sheep down there look like they could land before the um, official date of the 6th of April. I know a top got in for a day and I don't think he managed to got any, but he must have got one or two, but I'll keep an eye on them. Let you know if any of them actually come to fruition. Uh, hoping to go out tomorrow for another walk, because it's a nice few days coming. It's nice to see the actual mud disappear from up here. And uh, the days are stretching. We're getting sunrise before seven and it's setting after six. Tonight is just after five o'clock, and um, I you couldn't really ask for a nicer day, even in the summertime. I'm sitting out here in a jumper and my slippers. Now, people know me, they know I never go anywhere without being fully covered. There's as many coats as I can put on. I did see something funny on Facebook a few days ago about uh, when the weather was bad and he was extolling the virtues of uh, you people from the south. Better stay in this next few days, the weather's bad. 
Northern folks, better put get better get your big coat on. Kind of sums it up, really, doesn't it? <laughs> I never used to be a northern individual, but I am these days. The last video that's going to come out, shovel, shortly anyway, is going to be um, Balaskelia. Now this morning, it's such a lovely day, middle of October. And yeah, I decided we'd go back to Thultyville. And we're going to try and get up to a farm called Balaskelia. Now Balaskelia is right up on the top of that hill. You can just see the trees in the horizon there. And there's a zigzag path up to it. And I'll put a little uh, snippet on this here video for you. It's up on the top of Thulty Will, my favourite spot. Fair old hike to get to it. And um, I loved the trip up there, it was phenomenal, fabulous. The biggest uh, farm ruin in the Alamann, I would say. And it stayed, had 200 acres under its belt. Managed to get a bit of history of it, some old photos, and my usually name, name chat, so keep a watch out for it. If you want to see more, there's about 40 odd chat videos now on my YouTube channel. And um, I've enjoyed doing them, to be fair. Funny you look back at the ones you start with and you realise how lack of confidence you were or spluttering around rather than just um, coming out with it. As I said, I don't script any of this. It's just whatever comes into my head, really. Um, I am a bit worried about this war. Like most of you will be, I'm sure, but is it a smoke screen for something else? Because there are some horrendous tales coming out about COVID and it's the vaccine, what it's done to various people, damage it's done, blood clots and stuff like this. So you do wonder really, is the world round by itself or is it controlled? Being up here, as I've had, I've been here nearly a year on my own, basically. I haven't really had the news to listen to. So I've not really suffered from, shall we say, not depression would be the wrong word, but worry. Maybe I'm, that's a bit innocent, isn't it? I do love my music and I've had that on all the time. I hear the odd Manx news now and again. I get snippets when I go out to see people. But other than that, I don't really know that much about the world and what's going on. Self-sufficient? Well, I'm nearly self-sufficient. I've got uh, a bit further to go, but as I said, we're into March now. The clocks move in a few weeks, just before lambing. So I have to say, the year has gone very quick, very quick. I'm not sure whether I want to be up here forever on my own, but I have enjoyed the uh, solitude. It's time to reflect really, isn't it? Nobody here to actually persuade me one way or the other. My own thoughts don't do any harm to anybody. Nobody does any harm to me. Just me and Penny, isn't it Penny? Penny, come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. You do keep crushing me daffodils, don't you? So I thought tonight I'd do a fire sit outside, watch the sunset. The geese are starting to nest, I think there's three or four building nests this year, so it'll be one flock of them, I think. I thought they'd gone. The other day they took off from a long field after a long running, flew up in the air. Round and round they went and landed on the road in front of a car. They must have got the shock of their life. The car stopped and they took off again and flew back over, round and round again and back in the same field they left from. I have no idea what that's about. Tell you what though, you never get any intruders with those things. They come anywhere near them and they just squawk and squawk. The old rooster's also still alive, which is a shame, because he strolls up here every morning to wake me up. Uh, 
we've had one or two sheep casualties, not too many so far. And then um, not looking too bad, considering the wet and the wind and where we are up here. The new ram has survived the winter well. So hopefully it'll produce some uh, decent offspring for me. That sun is delightful. It really is. I'm getting my vitamin D today, as they say. Another place I want to go and do, I've been given permission to do a St. Runa's Church. I don't know if I've told you or not, but I'll tell you again. That's on my list as well. Um, definitely needs to be done. Another little one I want to go down and do is Cronk Breck, which is down the bottom of Ballamora Strait. And uh, Clock Willie, which is up on the top of uh, Stony Mountain. And what I have sort of learned this year from the videos is you've really got to do quite a lot through the summer months because January, February this year and summer, December, it's been impossible to do any videos. It's either been too wet or too windy. Um, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more put on film as they say. A lot, of feel, a lot of folks seem to enjoy them, especially people who have left the Alaman and want to return. I set out to show places that you wouldn't see normally and um, done that so far. TT hopefully is going to arrive again this year. I wonder what it's going to be like. I wonder. It's two years since we had it, two years since we experienced it. I've been on the prom once since it's been done up and it looks like that would be a place to avoid in TT Fortnite, I would say. It's bad enough without anybody being here. Got a few plans for up here. I think I need to put some sort of road up so I can drive up. So it's great going out, but it's a pain coming home and walking up in the mud or driving up in the old buggy. It's a hard standing outside the polytunnel because I'm sick of traipsing through mud. And month and age where you have to be careful, I'm told. Something comforting about a fire. I just I just thoroughly enjoy it. Also it's a, my own wood. It's from some trees that fell down in my glen. I love the smell of the wood when it's burning. For all you folks that have been following me, I'm very appreciative. I've got 500 um, subscribers nearly. But I'm never going to become earning any money because you have to have millions. And what I do is fairly narrow. Uh, there's no porn involved. There's no test drives or something or explaining how to do something. It's just me wandering around the countryside aimlessly gabbling on and so I, I just do it really for my own pleasure and people want to join us good good thing is it's totally up to me what I do and say nobody's going to tell me what to do or say or when I do it anywhere I go that's not on, is on private property I always ask if it can go most people are very agreeable to it which is good quite astonishing really I don't know what I've said but at old age you're allowed to repeat yourself apparently in the three books I did on um, Thaltons I think there's 140 odd Thaltons in them and there's about 18 to 20 now that don't exist so if you've got the books that's the only record that it's going to be about of those photographs and when I'm gone there'll be nobody for those memories except what's written down <laughs> 